Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. It's time to give our front porch a well-needed cleaning and refresh. We'll start by sanding and sealing the front porch wood covering, building a new wood planter box, giving a refresh to the painted bricks, as well as building a little gate for the front porch. It's a simple and easy transformation, and I'll show you all about it in today's video. Let's give this front porch a facelift. I painted these bricks, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and it held up, but it could obviously use a facelift and maybe a little planter situation here. Finally sand all this down and seal it. I need to replace these top boards because I didn't seal them in the beginning so they have weathered as well as the front. So I'm gonna sand all this down, seal it, and we'll also do something fun with the bricks and this little corner here and maybe even a little gate to close this off. So without further ado, let's get to it. I figured this was a perfect opportunity. I took a couple of these slats off to get some really good sanding so I could show you what I actually covered up. We used to have this metal railing along here. We were actually even missing one or two of them, which is why I made this to like sandwich it. I made it about, I think almost two years ago and it was all out of scrap wood. Also, here's a note to self. If you're gonna put up wood, seal it or paint it. I was so back and forth, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And now here, two years later, I ended up having to sand all this, which was not necessary if I had just sealed it or painted it in the beginning when I built this. But you live, you learn, and I'm sharing that with you now. So anyways, this is what was here, this metal railing situation that was kind of falling apart. So I built this situation to sandwich it. Now that it's sanded, let's put those last two slats back on, and then we're gonna cut some new boards to replace these guys. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so next up, everything's been sanded, but I need to replace these top boards, and I also need to pressure wash all of this. So let's replace the boards, then pressure wash, and then move on to the next step. I've already unscrewed it, so now it should just pop right off. Okay. All right, let's go cut some new boards. So I was gonna attach this top part, but I actually need to go pick up some finishing screws. So what I'm gonna do next is pressure wash all of this, we'll let it dry, we'll run to Home Depot, and then we'll come back and attach that section. So let's get to it, pressure washing the bricks. All right, day two, everything's dry. It's definitely sunny and warm out. Uh, I'm gonna let the shade get to there before we actually start painting the brick but I'm gonna seal off the threshold here using some of this Total Boat Halcyon Clear. We'll give a nice coat to that, let that dry, and then we also need to clear coat and seal this. I still need to put my top boards on, so let's get to it, and then when the sun has reached the end and we have shade, we'll get to painting the brick. Putting the Total Boat Halcyon Clear to use today. Pressure wash this, look at that beautiful grain. Woo! Let's lock it in, let's seal it, let's get to it. Whew. Looking good. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry, let the shade hopefully creep over, and let's revisit this now and finish this off. All right, so I'm actually gonna switch it up. Before I add the top cap section, I'm going to use this clear coat. I just used this on a project recently, and let me tell you, I was so impressed with how the water beads up. So this is gonna be my uh, go-to, at least for now, and then we'll see how it holds up. So I'm gonna spray clear coat the front, the back, and the tops on both sides, then I'll attach it. Well, 
While that dries, before I put on a second coat, I'm gonna take some measurements to make a gate right here, and then we'll build that out so we can attach it, and then we'll paint the brick. That way that can dry, and then we'll leave all this closed off to fully cure. Thirty-two and a quarter by thirty-two and a quarter square. So let's go make a little gate. All right, we got our frame cut. Now let's pocket hole it together. One done. One more to go. I've marked out where all of my slats are gonna go so that it matches up with the porch covering and now I'm just gonna put them on there attach them with brad nails I'm gonna probably actually put a little glue as well just to give some extra support let's get to it So next up, let's put a little latch on the end here so it stays taut, and then we'll do another one on the other side over here to hold it into place. Boom. And boom. Awesome. So we'll do this uh, porch and patio floor paint give everything a nice coat and then we'll do the distressing on the bricks after that but uh without further ado let's get to getting some paint on here actually I'm gonna go I'm gonna put on my paint pants before I much better all right let's get to painting coat is on I'll let that fully dry and then I'll give it a second coat and then we'll do some fun distressing to the actual brick area leaving the grout nice and bright white but this is gonna give it a nice good primer for it to all stick so let's let it dry and then we'll come back to it Woo! get out your shades cuz that first coat is bright but uh, let's give it a second coat and this time I'll use the roller which will make it nice and even and then tomorrow we'll hit up the fun stuff look at that gate oh I'm so pumped on this boop boop and then it's all closed off all right time for a second coat let's get to it back at it so I'm gonna try and paint in some of this section before the Sun hits it and uh, let's see how far we can get making it look kind of like distressed brick let's get after it all right I'm gonna give it a go a little bit something different I'm gonna kind of individually paint each brick kind of a tone and then I'll maybe whitewash over that so let's see if this works All 
All right, I like where it's going. I think ultimately once they're all filled in with a bunch of colors, it'll look good and then I'll do a whitewash over the top which will kind of mellow this out. I mean, I've never done this before. So ultimately it's paint and if it doesn't look good, we can paint it again. But uh, let's continue on and let's do it with a time lapse. good so far let's let this dry while we wait for this to dry let's talk about today's video sponsor today's video is sponsored by Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of really fun and amazing classes for creatives Skillshare has become my most binge worthy platform for consuming creative content that's useful and that I can learn from I recently took Marquez Brownlee's class on YouTube success I learned some really cool editing techniques and I can't wait to implement them into my next YouTube video Skillshare also offers a cool way to experience learning with live classes where you can connect with popular and inspiring teachers. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that click on the link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now back to our project. All right, now that we're fully dry, let's give this a little light white wash over the top of all this and see if we can help kind of mellow it out. Let's put a little white paint in here and kind of really dry it out as much as possible and then lightly skim over this and hopefully that'll make it kind of all blend together, give that rustic feel. Let's try it out. Not bad. I definitely had a better technique towards the top and got a little, a little more crazy towards the bottom, but I mean, it looks good. I think next is we need to build a little fun planter to go there so we can get a little pop of greenery. And then we're done with this uh, porch makeover. Oh, it looks so good. I'm happy with it. So ultimately, I'd like to make this planter box out of all scraps. I don't wanna have to buy anything. So I pulled down a couple pieces that I got to work with. I'm gonna have to glue up this little situation for the bottom. So we're gonna try and incorporate all these scraps to make a fun little planter box to cover this guy and then hang it on the porch, put some plants in it, get some greenery, and then beauty shots and we're done. And clean up the fingers. All right, my bottom, my sides. We'll attach that and then we'll just make some slats going across clear coat it, and put a plant in it. Okay, got my side pieces cut. Uh, I'm gonna glue them up and then brad nail them on. Throw the planter box in it, pick out some plants, throw it on the uh, porch, and then we're done. it looks beautiful now let's seal it in with this water guard it says you can use it on brick I don't know about painted brick but let's give it a go I really do love how the front porch turned out. I'm glad that I went with that light whitewash to mellow out the color of the painted bricks. 
and I'm glad that I finally sealed all the wood around the front porch covering, replaced the top board, built a fun little gate, and made a wood planter box. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that it inspired you to tackle a project around your home that's been in need of a refresh. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and until next time, friends.